Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan selamat pagi um, I'm Dr. Ikram, Emergency Physician from Hospital Sungai Buloh uh, Today I will talk about basic ventilator mode for our webinar um, Content layout of my presentation uh, First we talk about uh, introduction Then um, I will explain uh, regarding volume uh, difference uh, in uh, volume and pressure control uh, and then we go into the uh, mode first I will talk about access control mode number two is uh, SINV mode number three uh, pressure support and then uh, lastly will be conclusion alright ok so for introduction before we talk about ventilator ok I would like uh, to refresh our our, our, our knowledge ok right now uh, in a normal patient, in a normal people, okay, when we breathing, so we will uh, there, there will be a phase of in inspiration and expiration, right? So uh, this happen, um, this process is uh, in uh, first started with uh, uh, contraction of the our inter intercostal muscle and also diaphragm, which cre uh, subsequently created. Um, negative uh, intra intrapleural pressure and uh, subsequently uh, create a negative intra uh, intra pulmonary pressure. So this uh, negative uh, pressure subsequently akan um, uh, causing the 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 the, um, the air uh, in the atmosphere uh, pressure. Uh, into our lung, right? So, uh, what ventilator does is is a, a device burst. Okay, it's pumping the air to our lung. Right? So it's a machine that mechanically assists a patient in exchange of oxygen and CO2, which is a breathing. Okay. So how? So it's by pumping the air uh, towards a patient's lung, right? So this patient don't have any uh, breathing uh, breathing uh, effort. Is uh, uh, the, the the air was uh, is pumped by the machine. So in order for the machine to pump the air, so it, it needs a certain it needs a setting that um, regulate the, uh, the 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 process. Okay, and uh, to whom that we uh, use the ventilator. Okay, um, it's um, depends on the patient. Okay, it can be uh, from the lung issue or it can be from other than lung issue. So, in patient with a lung issue, uh, the setting of the ventilator is different compared to the uh, patient with uh, no lung issue. Okay, for example, um, our current situation is uh, severe COVID pneumonia. Okay. Which is directly uh, the, the 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 problem is related to the lung, or it can be from a patient with a severe DKA, uh, which the lung is a, a compensatory mechanism from the other disease, right? Okay, before we talk about ventilator mode, so I would like to explain a bit regarding uh, the common parameter ventilator parameter that we will use okay so first of all we talk about tidal volume okay what is tidal volume is the amount of air that move in or out in and out of the lung which is respiratory cycle right? so normal uh, setting we will use around six to eight mils per kilo right uh, what is fo2 fo2 is the fraction of inspired air okay to the is uh, the, the, the concentration of oxygen inside the air that um that that, that being uh, that the um, patient receive right for example in a normal oxygen concentration in the normal situation the oxygen concentration is 21 percent right let's say we set um uh, fo2 of 50 right or 0.5 that means that uh, out of the air that uh, delivered to the patient, 50% of it consists of oxygen. The other 50% is mixed with the nitrogen and carbon dioxide. And all, right?
Next, we talk about PIP. What is PIP? Is the positive and expiratory pressure. Okay, the positive pressure that remains in the alveoli at the end of expiration. Right. This PIP in a normal patient, in a normal person like us, is around five centimeter water. Right. Um, this PIP is uh, is, is, is uh, important in order to uh, to maintain the uh, alveoli from collapsing. Right. Next, uh, we talk about PIP, which is peak inspiratory pressure. Okay, what is PIP? It's the highest level of pressure applied to the lung during inhalation. Okay, the maximum, the maximum uh, pressure during inspiration. Okay. Next, we talk about flow rate. Okay, flow rate or peak inspiratory flow rate. Okay, is the maximum flow at which a set tidal volume breath is delivered by a ventilator. Right, this flow rate. Some ventilator, in order for us to adjust the uh, IE ratio, which is inspiratory and expiratory ratio, there will be no, um, no, no, no selection for it. So we need to play around with a uh, flow rate. Okay, the higher the flow rate, the more uh, uncomfortable for the patient because it can be from 40 to 120 liter per minute, which is try to imagine if the if the if the machine deliver a 120 liter per minute of oxygen will be a high flow rate, high flow of uh, oxygen to the patient right next we talk about respiratory rate or frequency okay so in uh, respiratory rate is the number of breath taken within a set amount of time which is usually in uh, 60 second or one minute okay uh, usually we can set uh, for adult 20 to 16 or up to 20 in a normal patient or PITS is uh, um, apa? Uh, the, the respiratory rate will be higher 20 to 24 and if uh, neonate is uh, more than 30 okay right. okay body weight versus height in this um, picture I would like to show the, the why we need to measure uh, patient's height compared to uh, taking the patient's body weight in order for us to set the tidal volume. Right. When you see the picture, okay, the the on the right side is 250 uh, LBS patient, and on the right side is uh, on the left side is 120 LBS patient. The height is almost the same okay what we can see is that the lung size is more or less same okay if for example uh, 250 is around um, 100 kilo or and 120 is around uh, 50 kilo if we set the tidal volume according to the um, body weight actual body weight so the <coughs> the thin patient we get uh, let's say we set uh, 7 mils per kilo so the thin station we get around 753 uh, 7, 7 minus uh, times 50 is around 350 mils compared to uh, the obese patient which is 500 mils so the lung size is same but if we set the the volume uh, different okay according to uh, actual body weight the obese patient can easily get a volume trauma right so that's that's the important of measuring patient's height okay right now when we for i, I show you the example of uh, setting patients uh, uh, setting the ventilator at the from the beginning Right. This uh, ventilator is a Mona T60. Right. So there will be a gender, there will be height and the uh, next to the gender. Right. For example, we take a male of 170 centimeter of height. Okay. And the tidal volume is eight mils per kilo. Okay. Uh, as you can see, the tidal volume is uh, the, the the weight the the machine. Uh, adjusted is around 66 kilo okay 
for a 170 cm uh, patient okay and the next you see uh, uh, you can see if the gender is female with the same height of 170 kilo the adjusted body weight is around 61 kilo okay so um, first it is important to set make sure our setting initial setting is correct okay after uh, next uh, we go to uh, i will explain regarding face variable right what is face variable uh, in a uh, one uh, respiratory cycle which is inspiration and expiration there will be a face okay first of all the trigger okay what is trigger trigger is the uh, how the what caused the breath to begin okay I will explain uh, later okay in the next slide okay uh, and limit okay know what is limit what is uh, limit is what regulate the gas flow during the breath okay and then uh, cycle okay what causes the breath to end right. so the trigger trigger or initiation but right. triggering is who decide when to take or start the breath okay it can be uh, few uh, it can be time trigger it can be flow trigger okay it can be pressure trigger or volume trigger okay what is time trigger time trigger is the mandatory or um, according to our preset setting okay mandatory which is the when the times come let's say for example uh, we set a tidal uh, respiratory rate of 12 breath per minute so uh, this patient will get uh, yeah. one uh, one breath in five seconds okay one breath in five seconds so every five seconds the machine will trigger uh, the, the the ventilator will trigger to uh, start the uh, inspiration okay and it's a mandatory okay they can follow one minute cukup one minute they can bagi uh, inspiratory they can bagi uh, breath all right what is flow trigger okay for this flow or pressure or volume trigger is by patient okay so flow trigger is when patient trigger by the, the uh, this patient will have some uh, upper patient initiated ventilation okay they can uh, breathe in when the when the patient breathe in the ventilator will detect there's a the upper uh, patient is uh, sucking the air through the second and subsequently we initiate the uh, <coughs> inspirate uh, the, the the breath right same goes to pressure trigger okay generating small amount of negative pressure when the patient taking breath the uh, uh, will work by uh, in inter foster muscle and also diaphragm we generate a negative pressure subsequently we initiate the ventilator to start the uh, breathing uh, to start the inspiration right Same goes to volume trigger. Okay. Okay. After trigger, we talk about limit. Okay. What decide when the inspiration to stop? Okay. Basically, we set a certain limit amount. Okay. For example, we set we take a tidal volume of we set a tidal volume of three hundred fifty. Okay. So, um, if tidal volume is 350 so it will be a volume limited okay the ventilator will not accept the set volume during the inspiration okay so it's a preset setting okay. same goes through pressure limit or flow limit okay so the pressure limit let's say we set uh, we take a pressure control uh, mode and set the uh, PIP around 20 so the ventilator will not exceed more than 20 uh, centimeter water of pressure okay and same goes to flow limited okay next we talk about cycling okay in a uh, easy uh, easy easy words to understand the cycling is what decide when the when to switch from inspiration to expiration okay 
one cycle is uh, from uh, inspiration to expiration okay so that it can be time cycle which is a clock uh, the, the, the time of uh, our uh, setting okay okay now next we talk about cycling in cycling what does it mean uh, is the decision when to allow you to uh, go to from inspiration to aspiration okay if you it say it's a time cycle is the clock decide means that the machine has a set a set um, setting that um, for example we set uh, ie of one to two okay so in a one cycle of breath the inspiration will be um, let's for example one second the aspiration will be two seconds so after one second of inspiration there will be two seconds of aspiration okay or if we set by flow cycle once the inspiratory flow rate falls to a certain set rate so the ventilator allows uh, patient to exhale same goes to pressure or volume cycle okay once it reaches the pressure or it reach the volume then only it allows a uh, patient to exhale right okay next i will explain what is the difference between volume and pressure control right in volume control okay if all the all the modes almost all the ventilator modes there will be a uh, two more selection which is either it's a volume control or pressure control okay so what is volume control it's a in volume control we can set a preset volume of air okay uh, the the process of uh, inspiration is same it's a pressurized air is driven into patient's lung okay but in the pressure the the difference between volume and pressure control is that in volume control the preset uh, the tidal volume that patient received is constant it's almost constant plus minus 50 minutes okay it's almost constant regardless of the pressure okay so the pressure required to the to give the same amount of air in different is different from patient to patient from breath to breath depending on the lung compliance depending on the um uh, depending on the uh, resistance of the lung okay so for pressure control is the other the other uh, way around it's a preset pressure of air delivered to the patient let's say we set a 20 uh, uh, pip of uh, 20 okay so in inspiration the maximum in, uh, pressure will be delivered is 20 okay in this setting the volume that patient receive is depends on the on on the on their lung condition for example i give you a, a bronchial asthma patient which is a life threatening bronchial asthma with a high resistance of lung okay so 20 centimeter of pressure centimeter water of pressure might only deliver uh, around 300 200 to 300 minutes of a tidal volume compared to the normal patient uh, normal uh, patient that intubated um, with no lung issue with a uh, 20 centimeter of water of pressure may deliver around 500 minutes of volume okay so in pressure control the pressure will be constant but the volume will be will uh, differ right okay in uh, pressure control cycle ventilation the inspiration is terminated when the preset peak inspiratory pressure is reached so once the 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 the, the peak pressure uh, is reached then the inspiration will end and subsequently aspiration okay okay as you can see in this picture okay this uh, first we take uh, invasive next uh, i click uh, i take uh, access control a is access control uh, vcv okay volume access control okay volume control ventilation right uh, look at the bottom 
parameter we can set the fo2 so in this in this selection we take a volume control so we can set the tidal volume okay there will be the frequency okay there will be pip and also ie ratio right okay in pressure control mode there will be no tidal volume that we can set okay instead there will be a pressure inspired that uh, we can set to the patient all right okay i go back to the previous slide okay okay next so we go to the first uh, mode that i will explain in this uh, lecture okay first we talk about access control what okay access control mode in access control basically uh, is a mix of mandatory and assisted breath okay what is man mandatory mandatory means the ventilator trigger uh, as you can uh, as i explained uh, previously on previous slide okay when the ventilator trigger is uh, is follow a time time uh, time trigger okay for example a 12 uh, is set a respiratory rate of 12 so there will be uh, every five seconds the patient will get the uh, mandatory breath okay and also it's a assisted breath which is uh, which means in assisted breath when the patient have their own spontaneous breathing the ventilator will assist as a preset uh, same as the preset setting okay so in access control every breath will have the same preset setting okay um either it's a volume control or pressure control right in volume control all breath will have the same amount of preset tidal volume okay whether it's a patient trigger or ventilator trigger okay so the common setting is uh, between volume and pressure control is uh, FO2, P, and uh, RR. Okay. So each breath will be same. Okay. Fully control patient breath. Okay. And mode in fully sedated or paralyzed patient. Okay. So what happen if patient having spontaneous or uh, spontaneous breathing or technique so as i said before each breathing will have we get a full support from the machine and uh, according to our preset uh, setting okay so let's say if the patient uh, is technique not well sedated and technique are, are around uh, 24 okay our preset setting is uh, our, our aim is uh, let's say 12 breaths per minute but the patient is the kidney and uh, with uh, 24 breaths per minute okay um, let's say we set a tidal volume of um, 400 so 400 times 12 is around 4800 uh, uh, 4, meters per minute for minute ventilation but if the patient take kidney and the respiratory rate is 24 remember with each breath they will get a full support from the machine okay same with the preset setting so the patient will get 24 minus uh, times uh, the tidal volume we set 30 about 4000 okay so around 8000 uh, miss uh, 8000 miss of minute ventilation okay so it can lead to excessive ventilation it can lead to a respiratory alkalosis okay so what is the advantage of uh, access control so it can respond to increased need for ventilation let's say if we set is too low but the actual patient the, the actual body mechanism causing the patient to respiratory uh, to, to uh, hyperventilate so it can um, meet the patient's required ventilation okay and it guarantees a minimum minute ventilation by the uh, respiratory rate that we set earlier right 
but what is the disadvantage with uh, hyperventilation and also um, high tidal volume or high uh, minute ventilation it can cause a higher mean intrathoracic pressure okay uh, and it can lead to respiratory alkalosis um, in patient with inspiratory flow or uh, insufficient solution right so now um, I talk about a bit of uh, the, the, the um, chart the flow uh, the, the chart for access control right okay in this diagram look at the pressure uh, pressure look at the pressure uh, graph okay uh, for the first uh, deflection there is a negative deflection okay as you can see as you can see the baseline is not reaching a zero because there's a preset uh, peak of around five okay that's why it started from around five centimeter water okay and suddenly it's a, a negative deflection what does it mean this is a patient initial ventilation okay when the patient try to take uh, to start the breath okay there will be negative intra uh, intra thoracic pressure uh, presented with negative deflection from the graph okay so subsequently we initiate the machine will initiate a full breath okay according to the preset setting okay as you can see once the the pressure is uh, started to go up okay same goes to the flow and same goes to the tidal uh, volume okay for the next uh, look at the pressure graph the next uh, deflect the next uh, cycle of breath there is no uh, negative deflection so this is the uh, mesh, uh, ventilator initiate ventilation okay this is the mandatory breath okay okay now in volume access control volume control right we for example um i set a fo2 of 21 with a tidal volume of 450 rr of 12 and p of 5 i.e 1 to 2 right so the tidal volume um the pressure need for the, the ventilator to generate 550 uh, mL of tidal volume is around 18, 18 centimeter water. Okay. What happened in a different patient with a high resistance or lung? Okay. So, in volume control, the machine will try to maintain the tidal volume of 450 plus minus 50 as I said before okay but if this patient have a lung issue for example uh, highly resistant uh, airway uh, in AEBA for example the pressure needed to generate 430 of mils tidal volume mils of tidal volume is around 20 30 more than 30 centimeter water okay can you see the difference here okay the in volume control the preset volume is 450 so the machine try to uh, maintain volume of around 550 but the pressure will differ from patient to patient in this uh, diagram in this uh, feature okay i set a ss uh, pressure control ss control mode okay this is let's say a normal patient with a pressure inspire of around 15 okay when the pressure inspire is around 15 it can generate the tidal volume around 500 mils of tidal volume okay what happen if the patient have a high resistant airway okay or any lung issue okay so in that pressure control the preset pressure will be same okay regardless of the uh, patient's condition so the pressure will be remain the same around 18 but 
the generated tidal volume as you can see is around 200 only compared to the previous uh, picture is around 500 okay okay so in tidal uh, in uh, access control mode please remember each breath will get a full support from the ventilator okay Next, I talk about SMV mode. Okay, it's a what the full name is the the full uh yeah. Okay, next we talk about SMV mode. Okay, what is SMV mode? It's a synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation. Right. So in this mode, there will be a mix of mandatory, synchronized, and also assisted breath. Okay. Mandatory is the machine initiated ventilation. Synchronized is when patient on breathing uh, at the time of mandatory breath. Okay, and also a partly assisted breath. Okay, it will got it. It will not receive a full support, but it's a assisted breath only. Okay, so the common setting is RR, FO2, and PIP. So if in volume control there will be a preset volume, if we we, we take a pressure control, there will be a preset pressure. Okay. So in between the mandatory breath, the patient is allowed to take their own breath. Okay. And their own breath will not get a full support compared to the assist mode. We will get a, a assisted breath only. Okay. It's, uh, okay. With the preset pressure support, it helps with the work of breathing. Okay, for the patient own breath. Okay, what is the advantage by using SMV? Okay, it's a mostly most uh, popular mode in uh, in in emergency, right? So it may reduce patient ventilator asynchrony. Okay. Uh, it can lower mean intrathoracic pressure than AC mode. Okay, if uh, okay, and then it can provide very deep, deep breath to prevent atelectasis in intubated patient with very low spontaneous tidal volume. Okay, the disadvantages I cannot respond to increased patient demand with increased ventilate uh, minute volume. All right, because in each breath it, it will not. Uh, receive uh, full support compared to assist control mode. Okay, look at the graph. This 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 diagram. Okay. Look at the um, look at the pressure graph. Okay, the first uh, the first the first breath is a patient um, patient initiated, but it correspond with the uh, mission mandatory breath. Okay, it has it has the negative deflection and subsequently receive a full support. Okay, but uh, as it increase uh, the the pressure is increased, the flow also uh, increase and the volume uh, increase. Right, but for the next breath, look at the pressure graph. Okay, for the next breath, it's a patient uh, initiated ventilation patient own breath uh, but it will get it will not get the full support from the ventilator okay same goes to the third breath okay then for the fourth breath is the machine uh, ventilator initiated it's a mandatory breath okay okay this picture in this picture uh, I take a volume control SIV mode. Okay, so we set a tidal volume of 450 for the ventilator to pro to, to to give a 450 of tidal volume. It needs uh, a pressure of around 18 centimeter of water. Okay, but if the patient having some uh, uh, having a high resistance of lung for the mission. For the mission to produce 450 of tidal volume, it take, it needs a pressure of around 30 okay centimeter water. Same goes to uh, 
as this control just now okay uh, and also pressure support uh, pressure control assign the mode okay in order uh, the the set pressure, uh, the, the setting is pressure inspired pressure is around 15 so it can generate around 400 uh, 580 uh, mils of tidal volume but we special with uh, some uh, lung issue okay uh, 18 centimeter of water of pressure can only generate around 200 okay so what is the difference between SIMV and SS control okay um, the main difference is if the patient is fully paralyzed the ventilation is fully dependent on ventilator um, fully paralyzed, fully sedated with no in, uh, patient initiated breathing SIMV and SS mode is same okay. the difference only when the patient have their own spontaneous breathing okay. in SS control they will get a full uh, full breath according to our preset setting in SIMV mode patient will get no pressure the, the breath is assisted but not um, fully uh, according to the preset setting okay hope you understand that okay for the last uh, mode that i will explain is a pressure support ventilation okay psd mode okay. in psd mode there will be only uh, fo2 pit and pressure support that we can set okay there will be no tidal volume no rr okay Mind you, no RR is we can set a backup uh, respiratory rate if the patient goes into apnea. Okay, there will be no mandatory breath or no synchronous breath. Okay, sub um, in pressure support is only support the patient's spontaneous respiration by giving the PIP and also pressure support. Okay, the tidal volume and respiratory rate solely depend on patient. Okay. Um, when do we use pressure support? Okay, for example, previously um, in our ED, we, we never use the pressure support ventilation. But recent uh, COVID uh, COVID uh, uh, disaster, where we uh, ventilate patient for one week plus and uh, and are estimating the patient in our ED we use uh, PSP mode um, the last as a last uh, setting before patient are able to be estimated okay so in uh, pressure support ventilation the, the the breathing is initiated by a patient patient only get the uh, set it, set uh, preset fo2 and preset p and pressure preset pressure support okay uh, as we mentioned before, there is the, 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 the respiratory rate or the respiratory uh, the, is, is, is uh, fully controlled by the patient. Okay. What happens if the patient goes into apnea? So there will be a backup rate. Okay. Depends on the ventilator. Certain ventilator have a backup rate only. But certain ventilator can switch if the patient goes to apnea, it can switch automatically switch the ventilator setting to SIMV mode. Okay, so the advantage is uh, to we can provide smooth transition to spontaneous ventilation during weaning. Okay, and uh, it's comfortable for a weak patient. Okay, but the disadvantages, the tidal volume, the minute volume are not assured. It fully depends on the patient. It can uh, the the patient can uh, become hypoventilation or apnea. Okay, if the uh, respiratory uh, drive is uh, fluctuated. Okay, it requires close monitoring. But thanks to the backup rate. Okay, so it, it is uh, if we are not away, so it, the ventilator can uh, switch on to the backup uh, mode. Okay, right. So uh, this is the pressure support ventilation. As you can see, there will be a uh, fit pressure uh, FO2 setting, pressure support, and also fit the RR minimum. Okay, this is the backup rate. Okay, if the patient goes into apnea. Right. So conclusion. Uh, first of all, 
in each uh, ventilator patient before we intubate we need to measure the patient's height for initial setting uh, for the tidal volume uh, setting okay be familiar with your with the ventilator that available in your department okay what is the best mode that we can use is the most the, 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 the mode that you are familiar with okay uh, practice um, try to practice how to set ventilator okay um, with or without patient okay and if you have any difficulty please seek for help okay with that um, I will end my presentation I uh, hope you get a um, benefit from this uh, course and uh, lecture. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum.